Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and we're going to take a trip to sunny Rio de Janeiro with Philippe de Broca and Jean Pel Belmondo. It's that man from Rio. In the wake of James Bond, the 60s were a golden era for a kind of wild, kinetic, colorful, globe trotting adventure movie. A lot of those movies, though, fell a little flat and fall even flatter today, but not this one. That Man from Rio is just an incredibly energetic, charming, and fun movie. It's beautifully directed by Philippe de Broca and hanging on the irresistible charm, swagger, and charisma of the very, very great Jean-Paul Belmondo. While Belmondo certainly did his share of very serious art films, he is, of course, the star of Breathless. He was in many ways the missing link between Buster Keaton and Jackie Chan. He did some truly wild action films, and, as in this film, he usually did his own stunts. And some of the stunts in this movie are just breathtaking. I always hoped that someday Belmondo and Jackie Chan would work together, but sadly it was not meant to be. It's not too late though. The film is just a blast. Breezy fun that never lets up for a minute, and there's no question that Spielberg and Lucas owe a huge debt to it. Without the last sequence in That Man from Rio, there's no opening sequence in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Apparently De Broca had wanted to make a movie of the wonderful French comic Tintin by Hergé, which is now being done by uh, Peter Jackson and Spielberg. But the project fell apart and he ended up doing this next instead. But you can see the impact those books had on him in this film. And in a lot of ways, this is the closest anyone has ever really come to capturing the look and feel of a tinted book on film. Belmondo is aided and abetted by the stunningly beautiful Francois Dorliac, who was Catherine Deneuve's sister and who died tragically in a car accident a couple years later. Adolfo Celli, the villain from numerous films of this era, including Thunderball, also shows up and does his usual grand job of being menacing. 